Hello, today we are going to see a nice small example how to use Lexium 32M with Siemens PLC using PLC Open library over Profinet. So, as usual, we'll see hardware configuration, make the uh, project, and then do some basic, basic testing. So we have our Lexium 32 with certain motor and Profinet card inserted. We will use 1511 Profinet PLC. We will use then additionally TIA 14 service pack 2 and everything is going to be connected over Profinet on Ethernet layer. So let's move to TIA. We continue in TIA and here we already opened the project and we added our PLC. So we have to configure first steps. And before you begin building your project, first you need to input or add GSDML file for our Lexium 32. So find it, select it here and install. After that, we will have to add our library, add it and it should be ready and visible inside the library. If it's not, you can always open global library and open it from the place where you extracted. When you did that, technically you can start to make hardware configuration and let's start from our PLC. If we check our device configuration, we will see that we have CPU plus additional Profibus card in my configuration, but we will not use it. So let's select IP settings to use default settings already in the PLC. And let's check our devices connected in our network. So we'll update devices. And after some time, we should have visibility of our devices, which have Profinet capability. Here we can see three devices. Two of them are our PLC and Lexium 32. So let's check Lexium 32. If you don't have IP address and name already set, you can assign it here. Like we did, just remember the IP address and the name. It has to be exact in your project. So let's continue device configuration let's switch to network view and because we added our gsdml file we can search it and find it in our hardware catalog and add it we have to assign profinet interface from our plc it's connected after this step we need to change some basic settings of our Lexium 32 to select proper IP address and to change the name. Here we can see that technically name is already same like it's in the device. Now let's check drive profile and to remember this 264 as our hardware identifier we will use it in the software. When you set this, you can try to test if your communication is working, is PLC communicating with the drive. So let's compile this project and then load it in the PLC. Download hardware and software. Let's search for our PLC. Do we have a match? Here it is. Load.
and we see here we have some certain configuration already inside we will override this and then we will run and go online to check if everything is green so start all and finish the loading now the plc is in run if we go online with our plc we will see that if everything was correct everything is as i said green hardware configuration and communication with lexion 32 is working now you can go offline and at this point you can start to build your program so first open the library and there are some mandatory things you need to do go to master copy mandatory basic function and add data type to our C to our plc data type then in pro program block make a new group where you will add your plc open blocks which you will use in your project so first mandatory blocks init read input write input those are functions and then we will use from single axis in this example we will use only mc power to run the drive and we will use mc jog but i will add all of them just to just to have them in the project now i will do this in maybe a different way first let's make some functionality that means that we need to run a drive and for example we we will do a jog so what we need is mc power and mc jog block and also some mandatory blocks in our program let's make some new function block before we begin we need to define axis ref structure we have our axis ref data type in our plc data types now we need to make a name based on that structure also your functional part of program needs to start with input data and needs to end with write output data in between you can put all the function blocks you will use so let's make our name axis lexium 32 lxm32 and data type is our axis ref from our library to be usable you need to compile your project And after that, you can add this to your axis inputs of your functions. One remark, retain field has to be in non-retain. This is mandatory. So let's create additional input and output variables, which technically we will not use, but just to have project compiled without any errors. Let's put axis, what we created, and output variable. Let's put it in local temp. And now, between those two functions, you can add networks, and you can put all the function blocks you will use. As I said, uh, I will just add two networks mc power mc jog with which you can run a drive and make simple jog left and right for the rest of functionality technically everything is the same you just put them in between and then you use them i will leave that to you otherwise this video can be two hours long before we begin we will also make name of our mc power block and we will call this in data type from plc open library 
So let's cancel this. And now let's copy this name that we provided to our MC additional field in our static name and type is our MC power. And then we can create also, for example, MC jog. Let's put some name, which should be like same, like MC power, at least ending that you can separate your drives if you have multiple drives. And now we can put those names in our function blocks. Okay. Let's say that our MC power is going to be in network two and in network three, we will have MC jog. We created a name, so here cancel, and then let's use it from static. Here we, here we are. Now mandatory fields, we need to fill out axis to have the same axis. And now we can create some Boolean variables on enable input on MC power. This means that the drive will go to run in steady state. And status means that drive is running. Error means that the block or a drive is in error and it cannot run. So we send the command and the drive did not obey. So let's put them like outputs. Enable input our run drive variable is going to be an input. And for jog, let's put jog forward, jog backwards, or as I write here, should be like backwards or just squirts. Okay, it's going to be squirts. So let's put it as a local input because we will use this as an FB in our object one, not object. It's a main, let's call it task. Now that you did your functional part of your application, you can, we can say, let's, let's rename it just that it's not block one. Let's put it lxm32 function. And now we can call our function block in our OB1, which is something like main task in Schneider PLCs, for example, so machine PLCs. Now let's create some variables on our input and output variables, which we will afterwards simulate in our watch list. So we have run drive, jog forward, backward, now let's put some global memory variable. For example, M00, M01, M02. And also let's check our status of a drive. So is it running? And is the drive in some kind of a fault? in error. Okay, let's define the tags. It's going to be again global memory 0, 03 and 0, 04. Now at this point the functional part is can run inside your main task. Now what you need to do is in fact link somehow our piece of hardware with our axis ref which we built. That means that you will have to do initialization of your axis ref. So let's create another function block which we will call let lxm32 init and let's put init function 
and then you need to find that hardware identifier from beginning of this video which is 264 and then link it to an axis which you use in your functions so not any axis don't build a new name but it has to be linked to exact axis which you will use and this axis is under db1 which is linked to fb1 axis lxm32 additionally what you need to do is run this once and usually it's best to use first cycle object which is startup object 100 which is run only once in the first PLC cycle which is enough so let's call our LXM32 in it in OB100 so as we did this technically basic settings are here and from our application we can build it send it to PLC and test if we can run a drive and then afterwards if we can jog left and right so let's send it to PLC we just compiled it load it go online again everything is green looks okay let's create our watch table so now we will add those five i think yeah five variables boolean variables that we added to our function block which we called functions so jog left right backwards forward okay run the drive now let's also see error and running let's animate our watch table keep it running all the time and now what we need to do is very simple at the moment we also see our motor and if we run put this to true drive running should enable but we have an error and why we have an error because we build the changes online and this ob100 did not initialize so the easiest thing to do is just to stop plc run plc and ob100 will run after that it should be okay let's try this one more time so if we set true and now we have running at this moment on the display of your Lexium 32 it should be run and there should be torque available on the shaft of the motor let's do it one more time now it's in ready if we set to true it should be in run now let's do a simple movement if we make jog forward motor is turning as we can see let's stop it and now let's try another direction it's running so this is it technically additional things you can do is just add more blocks absolute movements velocity whatever you will use inside your function fb and use it thank you